I always wanted to get a Surface Pro as Surface Pros looks really beautiful, they're very powerful and super portable. They have amazing magnesium body and they just look perfect. But when you look at the price tag, they're really expensive. And when you look at those dollars, sometimes you feel like might as well get an XPS or a gaming computer or might as well build one like myself, like you know how I built one. The Surface Go. The price tag starts at $399 US or $529 Canadian. Now for this price, you get 4GB of internal storage and a 64GB of memory, which is an eMMC based storage. But this unit does not come with the keyboard. For the keyboard, you will have to pay 130 US dollars or 170 Canadian dollars for the Alcantara based type cover. Now, combined value comes to either 530 US or 700 Canadian dollars, which makes it really expensive and not a budget friendly tablet anymore. So, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my review of the $399 base model of Surface Go. I'm going to be total honest when I left my house with an intention to buy this unit I wanted to buy the 8 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte uh, variant of this unit which is 700 Canadian dollars or in the US I think it's 560 if I'm not wrong so when I went to the store they did not had the the unit that I wanted but then when I considered I'm like you know $700 plus look at the keyboard for 170 that's like 870 dollars plus taxes that's like a full-fledged laptop do I really want to spend a laptop? Do I really need to buy a laptop? My intentions were, no, I needed a tablet. So I sucked up and I bought this unit. That's kind of a lie. I had no patience. That's why I picked up this one instead of the other one. So the unit that I have here has an Intel Pentium 4415Y chipset, which is a dual core CPU with hyper threading clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. Now you will find the same CPU in both the units. Everything in both the units are going to be same except for the RAM and the internal storage. My unit has 4GB of RAM and 64GB of eMMC based storage. Size wise you can see how it looks in comparison to an iPad or a 15 inch laptop or a 13 inch laptop. Now let's talk about business. When I booted this device for first time, I was not expecting a lot high speeds. And guess what? This device did not disappoint me at all. It took its time, it was quite a lot, it took its time. Finally, I got to the window screen and right out of the box, you get 43.9 gigabyte of free space out of the 64 gigabyte of memory. And guess what? What I saw after that? Bloat. And by bloat, I mean Microsoft Office. For some people, it might be a good thing. Not for me. When I look a tablet or a computer, I wanted like, like the stock, like straight out stock. Now, if I wanted to install Microsoft Office, I could do it myself. So I can, you know, if I don't want it later on, I can remove it. But here, it's inbuilt into the ROM. No, I don't want that Microsoft, don't do it. Stop. And just like every other Windows user, guess what I did? I went to the Edge browser to download the Chrome. But I was greeted with the S mode. Now I might be the tech savviest dude in the hood, but guess what? I was not sure what was S mode. After reading about uh, the FAQs on Microsoft's website, it's more like the RT version. So that means you can only download apps from the app store or the windows store why why would anybody buy a windows tablet just to download apps from the windows store that makes no sense if i am buying a windows tablet i want to have a full desktop experience on my computer otherwise i ain't buying that shit. <laughs> once i installed chrome i immediately went to youtube to play a 4k video and guess what it can run 4k video that's amazing and but the page was laggy like if you zoom in or out on that page oh don't do it it's laggy it's like you could feel that this computer is at least five years old but it's not it's brand new just came out got it like i have it for like a week or so it's not it was painful it was painful to see but the video ran perfectly fine perfectly smooth for a 399 dollars windows machine the display on this device is just amazing but not as a $400 tablet. The reason why I'm saying this is because the blacks looks kind of washed out and the whites are too white. In Microsoft's defense, the XPS is a $2,000 laptop while this one is just $500 or $400. The, the Wi-Fi chipset that Microsoft is using on this device is pretty amazing. I was able to get LAN-like speed, the speeds that I get through my LAN on this device, which is literally amazing. I'm not even making this up. 
I was really impressed. The Surface Go overall looks pretty amazing. It has an amazing magnesium body just like the Surface Pro. Also has rounded edges this time which you know gives it a really good look. But there are bezels all across. There are bezels on the side, top and bottom. And again the bottom be bezel is hidden usually by the keyboard if you look at here. But in Microsoft defense this is a tablet. So you will be holding it in a portrait mode and in the landscape mode. So you need something to hold on. The speakers are front firing and they are pretty good. The sound, I, I, I'm not going to say they are the best, but they are not the worst. They are decent. I like them. They are, it's not something that you should be complaining about if you get this tablet. Also, I tried running everybody's favorite game Fortnite on this thing. And guess what? I was able to play it on this device, but I had to decrease the resolution to 720p and the graphic settings to the lowest settings possible. There were lag, obviously, obviously you cannot expect this to run Fortnite smoothly. There was obviously lag, but you were, I was, but it was playable. It was, I, w I won't say that it was playable. I mean, I will rephrase it. I mean, if you are really desperate and you have nothing else and you really want to play Fortnite, you got to do something with your life, but it was playable. With that being said, talking about the performance, this machine sucks. I'm making it straightforward. This machine sucks in multitasking. Once you are out of S mode, you are using the full desktop version of Windows 10. You try multitasking, you try opening pages in Chrome. This unit sucks. I mean, I'm not sure about the 128GB variant with higher RAM. I obviously think that will be way better than this. But this one sucks. I guess this was made to run only in S mode and not in the full version of Windows 10. Now connectivity wise, as I said, it has a 3.5mm audio jack and a USB Type-C port and a surface connector. Ugh. Now you can charge this device using the Type-C port as well as the surface connector. Now I think the surface connector is literally useless. So Microsoft have, could have included two Type-C ports instead of Type-C and a surface connector. So you know what? You can either charge. So when you are not charging your device, you can use that second Type-C port for connecting your peripherals. That would make way more sense and it would make the world a beautiful place. But I don't know. Microsoft had no intentions of doing that. So as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't come with the keyboard. So you have to buy the keyboard separately, which is 130 US or 170 Canadian. This keyboard looks amazing. It's just perfect. It has nice Alcantara, you know, feels so good in the hand. And you know what the word, the best thing I would say, this thing even has backlit LED, which is insane. Has a touchpad, like, I mean, it has everything, but it's really small. Like it's really small. My hands right here. I don't think so. I have huge hands, but my hands are big for this machine. I'm not making this up. My hands are big for this machine. Talking about the battery, the battery lasts around five and a half to six hours, which is like okay for a tablet like this. Um, but overall, you know, I didn't feel like using this tablet as it was really slow. So if you really want to buy the Surface Go, buy the more expensive version of this device, but don't buy this one. That's my recommendation. Now, if you have any other questions or you want to have a discussion, let's do it in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, dislike it, sure, never mind, <laughs> drop a thumbs down. Also, start subscribing again because I'm back and I will be making more videos on